Hey guys and girls, how you doing today? So uh, I'm going to be doing a walkthrough on AAA. The map is called Total World War. So we select our maps. That's one of the big ones I've got in here. They just came out with version 3.0 of version 3.006 actually. I love it to death. If you're a fan of uh, Axis and Allies or Risk or anything like that, you're going to love this game. It, it, you can get the traditional maps, you can get more advanced maps. This is my favorite to date. And there's a couple that are coming out that I'm looking forward to. One of the things I did is I changed on the map options here. I do have, um, I, I changed it over so we don't have low luck for technology. And I think I changed also random AA casualties um, and low luck for anti aircraft because I, I, I want to be able to roll tech, you know, it's kind of important. And I do want to be able to choose who they shoot down, even though it's not necessary. But uh, Aeon, this is pretty impressive and it gets, it gets hard. So I, okay, that, and we're going to go ahead and start a local game here. Now, AAA has been around for a while and it just gets better. So I'm changing every single person here to hard. Now I'm going to start off playing by, by playing Germany. Um, Germany consists of Germany itself and three different provinces. We got the Vichy France, we got the Danube Access, and we got Finland. I'm also going to go ahead and play Italy. Um, I can give you more advanced, but you know, the goal is to learn the game instead of uh, showing you how to control everything and whatever and whatnot. But I am controlling two countries, Germany as well as Italy, and Germany composes four different provinces of four different areas. Um, so let's go ahead and start that up and let's see what we've got going here. Now, again, this map, uh, Total War, has some things that a lot of maps don't. Um, this is one of the things. If you play Germany, all right, if you play Germany, you can start with a couple of different special abilities. There's national tech advantage, in which case everybody starts with a tech. So Germany gets improved anti-tank, Russia gets logistics, Japan gets improved destroyers, Britain gets improved anti-aircraft, Italy gets improved hulls, which makes them tougher, and US gets more production, more, able to build more. There, there's several of these anyway. But uh, I'm going to choose shared technology. And with shared technology, since I'm playing Germany as well as Italy, whatever technology Italy discovers, Germany eventually gets. It takes them a turn or two, you know, until they get it. Um, we're also going to start with bonus technologies. So some people get super subs, some people get anti-aircraft, different things like that. So we're going to purchase those. And again, you can only do this if you start as Germany. And go up here to this one little spot the developer put in here, which is beautiful. You click on here and you put those two down. So they are going to be active throughout the entire game. All right. So, again, we start as Germany, to ask them which things. I love these pop-ups. There was a version of Java that came out that broke these for me on the Mac for a while, and I went to their forums on AAA, and again, AAA up here, AAA, AAA, all one word. Um, but I went to their forums, and I saw that other people had the issue, didn't need to comment or nothing like that. They said they, they, they isolated it down right away. It's a Java issue, and Java updated. Boom, I got my pictures back. So. Uh, Germany, or I'm sorry, Germany declared war. Yes. All right. So tech rolls. I always click on this one because I'm not sure exactly. I really want to do um, improved tanks, and then I'll have Italy um, try and do special warfare. But I want more tanks over here. So I'm going to build a lot of tanks to try and get up into um, Moscow itself and Russia. So you start with five tokens here, and we didn't get it. Oh, that's a bummer. Last time I played this, it did a lot better. So combat move, these are my combat strategies. Um, it, it can be tricky, um, but this is the way that I, I've played this so many times. Now this is the way that I've learned to do it for, for Germany. You go over and try to take that transport out. We got the submarine down here, try to take that transport out. The submarine should protect that, maybe take out that ship there too. And I don't want this, uh, you build in this in this map you build a hull before you turn it into a battleship or an aircraft carrier well i don't want that son of a gun existing so i'm going to send my submarines all up there just to sink that and on the meantime there's this one over here i'm going to go ahead and send some planes out there to try and sink that um I'm getting back over here these places these these provinces or whatever you want to call them they actually have a snow marker on them right now that's a heavy russian winter so nothing in the snow marker marked areas can actually move into out of nothing can move into or out of there 
So you can't move much of this up here. But I don't like this guy here. So we're going to try and take him out. Move our big guns. We'll take this guy all the way over here too. And we'll go ahead and send an aircraft. May as well. He's not doing any good if he just sits there, right? All right. So this is looking okay here. I still do see a couple of ships out here. I want to get rid of these transports because that's going to make it so they can land on the mainland. Um, I'm... Another spot over here, look, I can't do a lot over here other than kind of shift things east, but I do have a little place down here that I can move and actually attack. And this is horrible to have if you have later in the game. If Russia or if Russia still got that in your Germany, it, it's, a, it's a problem. Um, they do have a, a Marine over here, which unlike traditional access analysis and things like that, the only way you can land is if you have Marines until you get um, special warfare as an advanced technology. Um, so I do want to take this out, but I see two guys here, three, and you know the cannons actually support the infantry. But on, in addition to that, I got a bunker, and this is a heavy bunker, man. So it it hits on a ten or less. We use twelve sided dice in this, not your traditional six sided like axis and analyze, because there's much more of a variety, right? And we got an anti aircraft, which I think it might get a one defense or something like that, but it, it's another hit point, right? So I got two, three, four, five against two. Bringing those down. Let's bring these guys down. Some mechanized infantry and a tank. Gonna bring down every single fighter that we can. Anything that can help contribute to that battle. I'm gonna attack. We're not gonna bomb. In fact, can you reach it? I bet you can, but I don't think you can actually land there. No, so we're gonna cancel that. Um, but nothing else can really get there. So now I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven against two, three, four, five. That's tough when they got a bunker. I'll tell you right now, it's going to be a hard one fight. It always is. Um, all right. So over here, more. This is going to be more final moves, kind of shifting things east and west because Italy's our buddy. So we're not going to be attacking down there. But we do want to help Italy down here in Africa. Okay. We don't have a lot of ships. So we can't move a lot of things. But we can go ahead and try and take out this bunker for them. And we're going to try and do that with everything that we have that we think can reach there. No more planes or nothing like that here for Germany. Nothing I see that's going to be beneficial to them or worth taking the risk. And if we go here to the Atlantic, all right, yeah, I'm definitely willing to risk a, a submarine for taking that on. And this is, uh, with this map, uh, the version 3006 or 30 or whatever, um, they've added this, which is nice. These, these guys, they have the anchors next to them. That's kind of like a, a place where those boats are there, you know. They'll fight and defend themselves, but they can't go anywhere or attack anywhere. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what country that is, but these, yeah, it's France. So these, this is France up here, too. You'll notice that they're the same way. And when World War II, um, you know, first started and the French actually surrendered, they, the British, I believe it was, that went out and actually sank the, the, the French Navy. Really pissed the French off, but they sank the French Navy so it would not fall into German hands and be used the way it's using here, being used here. So I'm going to do some final moves down here eventually, but you'll notice this guy does not have an anchor in my little submarine here, but he's got nothing he wants to attack. It's too, everything's too far away, so we're good there. But I do have some final moves I'm going to pull down here. All right, we're going to finish that turn out. Yes, we're definitely going to attack every transport we can attack. Now the computer's thinking, trying to figure out what to do. Yes, I'm going to remain there. I, I defend, or I attack on a three, they defend on a one. Yes, got him. All right, next one. Get him. Get him. And with this game, it's so nice to hit the space bar so you don't got to continually move your mouse. Got him. Beautiful. Those are the two big ones I really want to do. To Brook, this is a very important battle. If I don't take this, then... Uh, um, Italy's going to have a d difficult time coming through and moving throughout all of it. So let's see what happens. Ooh, they killed one of my... Yes, got them all in the first volley. And they only killed one anti-tank. That was a beautiful round. Wiped them all out. They took my plane out with their anti-aircraft, but I got them all in one volley. Look at that. That You usually don't have that many guys left over after that battle. Just again, the best laid plans, right? All right, so we've got to be careful because it's going to hit me later, right? So, okay, so we're up here. Let's see what happens. Oh, let's continue with land battles. So let's go to Crimea. So again, that's down here on this island, and that's an important island. You really want that out of your way if you can be in your Germany. Got it. Oh, I did a, I got it up here. Got rid of that guy. Let's do Crimea this time. Sorry. All right, got 
three of them the first time. But see, it hits on 11. We're talking 12 seconds. That's always a hit. And he took out three guys. He got one tank. Let's look a little closer here. Do we want to remain a retreat? He's got two guys. He got one, two, three, four. Yes, we're going to try and take that one more volley. Oh, he killed two guys. I am... Yeah, I'm... <sighs> no, I'm going to leave him alive and kill my tank. I'm done. And you have to have a foot soldier or a tank. Ooh, I hit the wrong button and I still took it! And I, lost, I killed my foot soldier. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, what a horrible way to go out. But I took it. There's no more foot soldiers there, so I just need something that can move in there next turn. Yes. All right, that worked out. Even though it was a mistake. All right, so we're going out here to C-Zone 24. Let's see what happens there. If you double tap that on the Mac, it goes full screen. All right, lost one guy. I really want to take out two guys. I hit it on a three and a six. Hit him. Come on. Oh, they killed all three of my guys that went there. That was horrible. I'm glad I won the others. Okay, here. Get him. Got both of them. Didn't lose a thing. That's the way to do it. Leave some submarines there. This is an important battle. This is really an important battle. We don't want the UK to have more transports with resources on them and things like that. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Got him! Last battle, season 21. I might need to retreat from this one. He did scramble an aircraft to it. Yeah, he took one. I will go ahead and retreat and save my aircraft because I lost a lot up here. I prefer not to lose any of those. Aircraft are very important, of course. All right, so land our aircraft here. Um, I like taking a tank and putting it on this little transport, moving them up here to work. Final move stage, by the way. It goes to here. Again, I can't move anything up here, but this cannon I'm going to want up here later. So I'll move that and even look these guys. Because I don't think, no, I'm not going to move both of them. Because I think he might attack. If he was a real player, he might. Computer might not so much. Um, again, this has to land there. It's going to only move one space. There's not an airport in this map. All aircraft must leave from it if, if they if they just move they can move two spaces but if they leave from an airport they get their full four or five or whatever but other than that since he's gonna land there it's kind of a pain but that's all right move that there let's go ahead and take you and you and move you up there the truck is carrying that foot soldier to get him up there you move that tank all the way up there as well you go ahead and go around there Anything we can get down there to make it so that's going to be easier. Now, there's a uh, one thing with this map that I really dig. It took me a while to figure it out. Um, but you can take this engineer, right? You can move him to here. And we can take this bomber, which can carry either a trans or a, a resource or a, a paratrooper. But I'm going to move that there. And then over here is this train. I'm going to take that train. They can move five as long as they're on tracks. I'm going to grab that resource and drop them there. So now I'm going to build a factory there, and I'll put two tanks in play every turn there closer to Moscow. I mean, that's just it, the sooner you can do that, the better you are, because once they start building manpower, you're just kind of dead, you know. Um, definitely back this guy up. I don't have any planes to defend that. That really bothers me. I got hurt on that one a lot. Put you down here, because you can't go too much further. You two normally you go this way, but I'm going to go this way because I, I finally get there faster this direction. I'm going to take you and move you up there. And also, you can take that resource to get some more foot soldiers closer to the border so we can actually start moving them around. And you head that way. I'm going to take you and that paratrooper. I'm going to put you all the way up here in Finland. And then later, I'll use that same uh, air transport to move this resource down and maybe build another factory, right? Okay, so we're looking pretty good now. You two get over there, you get over there. I do need another engineer over that direction. Yeah, let's move you up too. And cannons are always welcome in combat. Alpine units uh, rock in the mountains. I mean, they're, they're just as good as normal troops um, for normal things, but I mean, they rock in the mountains big time. Uh, they, they definitely take care of things. All right, so I'm not real happy with that, though. I'm not really happy with that. 
Okay, so I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna leave it there. I'm gonna move him over. You get closer to the over there. All right, out here. All right, so I've got one submarine there, and I've got another one down here. This one I'm gonna kind of leave in place. But this is a neat little trick I, I learned from this map. You go over here, you grab this engineer, and you bring him back. Now, when it's Vici's turn, you build a factory there, or you build a, a, a trench. And, and this guy goes up to protect that. So nothing can attack up that way or it's going to be a fight. And I'm going to go ahead and move this submarine. No, I'm going to leave the submarine there. I always wonder about if I should go down and protect it, but there's nothing that can actually attack it even down around South Africa until this comes around the corner. So I think we are good there. We are good there. We are good there. Um, I do want to take these two guys, throw them on there, and bring them down here. Now I'm going to unload these up here only uh, my goal is to put them down in Africa, but if they if they if my ship dies, I want them on mainland Europe because they're going to be able to move quicker and stuff like that, rather than putting them on an island or something like that. Um, so I think that's about it for that. Yeah, not much more we can do. All right, done. All right, so I know I've got a hull right there, so I'm going to put an aircraft carrier on, or a, a, a battleship on top of that. I'm going to build a factory there, I'm going to build a factory there, and I'm going to build a aircraft, and I'm going to build myself two tanks. And what's going to happen, I'm going to put a factory here, I'm going to put a factory here, I'm going to put that on top of that there hull, I'm going to put two tanks there, and I'm going to put this plane down here because it gets to the ocean a little quicker, I feel. All right, so down here I want to build that, and I also all right. So down here, this is Vichy, France, and this is one of those things. You know, I, I moved that guy down further here. I'm going to get done, but I moved that guy down further here, and I actually put a resource there. These are the guys that have to build that. I, I, I tried building that. I did it a few times when I first started, and I built. Uh, trench like trench fortification like this with Germany and it you can't build it then it's got to be the Vichy French because they're the they're the ones who actually have it the Vichy France so we're gonna change this so we're gonna, automatically they start where they get a resource every turn too that can be good on the mainland and you might want to have it in Africa as well but I built a boat and I'm gonna go ahead and build a regular foot soldier because I've already got an engineer down here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and build that German trench fortification. All right, we're gonna finish that up. So down here, I'm gonna put that French fortification in. I can only do that because I have a resource and an engineer. You can only build when you have an engineer and the appropriate amount of resources. So I'm gonna build that there. That's gonna reinforce this. So he's not gonna attack that now. It'd be stupid to try it. And this is still tough when it's one to one. You know, when your defenders always get the advantage. Um, for them, I'm going to put one homeboy here, and then over here, I'm going to put both of those, that foot soldier and that resource. And they also get to use their Serbia guys. Eventually, these become just by two tanks every turn. I get a tank and a mech infantry that first turn. And I throw those in here. And again, that's just this area here. And so it's going to be built in that area. Then after we place those, we get Finland, and Finland is again just covering this area here. If I take that, then Finland's money is going to go up a little bit. Um, I start with eight resources, so to me that's a mechanized because you want to be able to move in mainland Europe and a foot soldier. So I'm going to put those down. Eventually, once I clear out the uh, Russians here, I'm going to want to build navies out of that. Just going to pump boats out, but I got to worry about Moscow first, right? Okay. <coughs> Speaking of Russia, we triggered a whole bunch of things there with Russia, and that was the end of our turn. Now, to give you a better idea of this, the, the detail of this map, I mean, just the, the, the little things I like about it, I was telling you at the beginning that we, you can see the rules throughout the game, so you can always size this. I'm not sure how it is on Windows, guys. I'm a Mac guy. All right, but you can get to whatever size you want. You got the notes tab here. You can go players and resources, find out who has what technology. And you'll see since we started with um, advanced technology, some of them are shared technology or starting technology, whatever you call it. Um, some of them, we, you can see who's got what. Um, but notes has all of the rules. 
Ooh, this is saying they're scrambling from scrambling to Oral uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven against two, three, four, five, and I can throw one more and make it six. That might be a losing cause, but man, I'll do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Usually I don't. Usually I will not. All right. Yeah, I knew those guys were dead. They were dead. Nice. This is where I scrambled that plane. Is it going to make a difference? Oh, not even a little bit. I killed one of theirs. They killed all seven of mine or whatever, eight of them. And here, I'm just hitting the space bar. It, it really is. You just got to pay attention because you can hurt yourself if you hit the space bar too much. But you watch the space bar and it's, it just makes the combat go so much quicker once you can read it. You know? Yeah. All right. Got him again. Get him again. Get him again. Got him. We held held fast. Nice. We have two people right next to Moscow because they held fast. All right. Yeah. Let's lose the Italians first. All right. All right. So now they're gonna figure out their final moves and things like that. So over here on the notes tab, like I was saying, this is all the rules. And it, it's the the detail and the love that was put into this. I, I, I I'm greatly appreciative. I, I mean, I really really enjoy this map out of all the others. There's a few others that are are pretty darn good, but I mean, I really enjoy this one. It, this is top notch right now. So this one tells you what you got to do to get each of the individual items. You know what kind of technology it takes or whatever. But this tells you what their attack is. They attack on this, they defend on that. You got regular infantry, you've also got Alpine, like I said, those are awesome in hills. Combat engineers, they're good too, um, not just because they can build things, um, which you need them because you can't just build wherever you want. You gotta have something that manufactures. And so the combat engineers do that along with resources, but the combat engineers here, they also will help out when you get special warfare. Um, to start with, only Marines can land from a boat to take a country. They can only land to fight. Oh, yeah, so you have to have a bunch of Marines, which take us a dollar more. Or um, you got to get special warfare. When you get special warfare, all foot soldiers can attack over boats. Um, so they can land and, and actually assault a beachhead. Um, but uh, and then you get more advanced special warfare, then your artillery goes up. And artillery is a lot like um, Axis and Allies, but not quite because it's still got some extra bonuses. So if you've got a foot soldier working with an artillery, boom, both of them get a plus one. It's pretty nice. Um, heavy artillery that gives you more bonuses. Um, Anti-tank, that's kind of like, think about a sub. A submarine goes out and it shoots and it kills the guy. If it kills them, boom, they don't get a defense. It's the same with anti-tank. So if you're being attacked by tanks, they shoot, they take tanks out specifically, and then they don't even get a chance to fight back. Um, and, you know, anti-aircraft guns, trucks can move two, trains can move five as long as there's a railway. Um, looks like Japan's going right now and they're finishing up a little bit of their turn. Heavy tanks are awesome. It's more of an advanced technology you got to get to get those. But with heavy tanks, they take two hit points. So you got a tank that's awesome and it can get hit. So you can sacrifice it kind of like you used to be do with battleships. Um, materials, um, you got to have those to build anything uh, that you want to build new, build new factory, build new um, dock, new aircraft carrier, um, well, not aircraft carrier, but um, the runway, airport, um, anything along those lines. You need to have materials to do that. Air transport, these are nice. They can carry um, the uh, paratrooper units that are up here, or they can carry a material. So that's a great way to get materials into a place that's far away from you know, that you know, you're manufacturing them here, fly them in. You saw me do that with uh, how I built that uh, factory here. I actually flew one of those in there. So from here, but that's a really short area. And another thing, runways or airplanes, I mentioned this, they, they, they only get their full movement if they take off from an airport. Rockets are nice, they're kind of like one-shot wonders. They go boom, they hit stuff, they blow it up. Have you ever had advanced rockets, but they look cool? Fighters, there's different kinds of fighters. A regular fighter is great on land, but they're not so good at shooting things out in the water or shooting islands and things like that. For that, you need naval fighters. And also, normal fighters can't land on aircraft carriers. Only naval fighters can land on aircraft carriers. Um, you get advanced naval fighters. They get extreme range, you know, really good hits, things like that. Um, your basic sea transports 
to carry two foot soldiers or one foot soldier in a cannon or one tank or you know any variety of thereof. Um, submarines again they hit first but they can also submerge which is really cool so it's gonna tax you where you get a submarine and it's like do you want to fight them or submerge you just submerge you kind of get away from it even though you're in the same spot advanced submarines are nice because they hit on a six and defend on a three where normal submarines defense sucks um, destroyers are nice they can make it so subs can't really go anywhere um, Heavy destroyers, they can do even more than that. Cruisers, they hit really awesome. They only got one hit point, but they hit it on six, so it's 50, 50 chance you blowing something up. In order to build a battleship or a carrier, you build gotta build a hull. So you build a hull first, then you can put a battleship on top of it. Ooh, Japan is making their move. Hey buddy, what's up? Sorry, you know, just getting in the spirit of things. Uh -huh. But battleships and carriers, they have to have a hull built first. Um, just like a fortification, you can't just put two coins down, you know, two of these. You gotta have a entrenchment first. So you gotta build an entrenchment, the next turn you can go around and throw the fortification up. But a fortification hits on a 10 or under on a 12-sided dice. That's the bomb. Um, barracks build foot soldiers, factories build um, tanks, cannons, um, anti-tank, things of that nature. And also if they're on the coast, where there is a also a dock then they can build hulls um, they can build the big ships the cruisers um, the battleships carriers things like that a uh, normal dock by itself if it doesn't have a factory can only build destroyers and submarines they're, they're cool but you know you want to build the big ships um, an aircraft plant only build aircraft there the only place you can build airplanes um, and everywhere where you have an aircraft plant, you want to make sure you have an airport too, an airfield. Um, airfields, you can build them, they cost you a buck, you throw them down wherever you got an engineer, one of those guys, and then your planes can really go move. Um, research centers, those give you additional dice when uh, you're rolling for uh, your research at the beginning of your turn. Um, so they give you so many extra dice. But also, later down the road when you get advanced things, um, any of these have an A, like advanced naval fighter, advanced tech, um, tactical bomber, uh, advanced tanks, heavy tanks, things like that. To build that, you have to have a research center there too. So uh, uh, for a tank, you've got to have a factory and the research center in order to build an um, advanced tank. You have to have a, a research center and an aircraft plant in order to build an advanced fighter. Excuse me, advanced fighter. Make sense? Railways. Um, it costs you to build them. I haven't found a really need to build them yet. Usually it's kind of maybe repair here and there if I can. Um, I see where there's potential for it, but I think only if I'm playing against somebody other than the computer. Um, but that will allow your train to go five spaces. And it's awesome because it can pick up a tank and just boom, throw it into battle. You know, and then go do it again and again and again and again. Um, you get different support effects, you know. Again, if you have a fortification, they help out foot soldiers that are there. Ooh, look at that. China's making their move on Japan. And that was all they did. But if you have artillery, heavy artillery, entrenchment, fortification, they give each of these a bonus, um, depending on what it is. Air transport, they give paratroopers. Um, mobile artillery and tanks, they help mechanized infantry. Um, mobile artillery tanks, bombers, they, they help tanks and heavy tanks. So, you know, air support, I love the detail that's put into it. Um, the terrain effect. Alpine units, just to give you an idea of terrain, I'm not going to go into too much detail about it, but Al Alpine, everything sucks in the hills. Look at this, everything's zero or minus one, minus two, minus three, minus two for tanks. Tanks aren't so good in the hills, right? Let's go to mountains. Tank gets minus three in the mountains. Everything's got minus in the mountains. Heavy tanks got minus four. Sorry about that, I had a knock at my door. All right, this is asking if I want to scramble down here. Ooh, I did leave that pretty open, didn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I'm not going to scramble. I'm going to need that later. So I see the computer fighting back. All right, so I was saying that the, the, the tanks suck in the mountains, but look at this, these Alpine units, man, they are awesome. And in order to build those, you really have to have uh, a factory in the mountains. You know, you gotta have a 
a barracks in the mountains in order to do it, not a factory, but a barracks in the mountains to build alpine units. And they cost you a dollar or more, but man, they are worth it when you get to hills and mountains. It's amazing, it plus two for defense when they're in the mountains. You know, that's awesome. You know, take a couple tanks out, especially since they're weak. You know, minus two on defense, minus four on defense. But you get materials and, and, and everything has its own modification depending on where it's at. Again, I love the, the thought that went into this. So the Lend-Lease features. So Lend-Lease, um, you know, Russia and the United States and Britain, they had kind of a, a tie, but it wasn't really a tie. You know, it was kind of like, yeah, you can move people here and you can move people here and you can move people here, you know, and, and a couple of the places on the globe, you can move in whatever people you want, but you can't just move American troops over here. Even though you're allies, they don't want you hanging out in Moscow. Now, if Moscow was owned by somebody, then yeah, they'd be cool with you taking it. Um, but once you take it, you can't go to anywhere else around it after that until there's some other rules in here. Look it up. Um, so lend lease are nice. The British have a different lend lease. And see, they've got them down here too. Yeah, lend leases in, in a couple different spots. I'm trying to remember where I thought there was another one down here. Maybe not. Yeah, and Britain's finishing up their non combat moves now. That always takes them a while to figure out where they're going to land. So special territory rules. Um, a lot of things don't come into play the first turn. Um, one of the things that I look for is this. I, I love technology and the idea that, okay, I want advanced special warfare. What's that do? It enables amphibious assault for artillery, anti-tank guns, guns heavy artillery, mobile artillery, mechanized inf infantry, and tanks. So you, you got that, you can put tanks on boats and they can attack the soil as their full strength. Um, plus one defense for Marines, all kinds of things of that nature. Again, you want at least special warfare in order to land other regular troops instead of just Marines. Um, rockets, um, you come down a little further, we've got um, things that you look at the high end, you know. Production is a nice one, it gives you a free material every turn. Again, um, uh, Vichy France starts with that, that's why we get a free one every turn. Um, but there's also Advanced um, heavy tanks and heavy tanks again. They get two hit points. Here's advanced fighters in order to do that You got to get improved fighters and increase fighter range so they can move five spaces instead of four Improve your tactical bombers and then you can get advanced fighters and they are awesome um, If you keep going a little further you get improved hulls and go all the way to advanced aircraft carriers your advanced aircraft carriers can carry can hold three planes and They can take two points of damage, you know so that's, that's really nice because if your carrier sinks, all the planes, they got nowhere to land, they sink is with it. They sink as well. Um, logistics is nice. Then your trucks can move three spaces instead of two. And remember, a truck can carry a foot soldier, a tank, or a foot soldier, a cannon, things of that nature that you might need. So Britain's just about finishing up their turns. Uh, but there's a lot in here, and, and I look through it quite often. This tells you how to set up it initially. Um, and things like that, but I, and they've got a couple little updates. Um, but I, I highly recommend, you know, you get the PDF and, and throw it in like iBooks or, or whatever the heck your book reader is. It's a PDF and you can get it and just glance over it. But it's always on the notes tab. All right, so it's just about time for Italy to go here, I'm hoping. Oh. Let's see what happens. Dun 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 dun. Canada just finished up. Dun 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 dun. And this game's completely different if you're trying to play defense. Um, I always find it harder to try and take over the world than it is to defend the world. Um, uh, but. Uh, Again, that's playing against a computer, not necessarily a person. That always changes the rules. And this map's really good for a, a two-player game, too. You know, if you just, both of you want to work together, try and take over the world. One person played Germany and Italy, and one person played Japan. That's a good one, too. If you're going to do it the other way around, you really need, uh, this. I would say, USA, Australia, Russia and 
as opposed to um, just UK and uh, Eastern UK or India. Yeah, what's going on over here in the Pacific? Oh, they did not take the Philippines. MacArthur's still sitting strong. They did take a lot of China though. Ooh, and these Alpine units, I'm telling you, those are tough. You look at that, it's, it's almost like having a bunker on a mountain. And if you got those and a bunker, whew, good luck taking that mountain. There's a nice unionized fleet. I'd probably attack that if I was Russia. I'd, I'd attack Japan there. All right, Italy's finally declaring war. Dun, 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 dun. And they're going to try for special warfare because I want to give it to Germany, but they are also going to be able to use it when it comes about, and I did not get it. Horrendous. There's not a lot I can do up here. I got four guys here, two here. That looks weak, right? But look, there's three planes sitting here that can just blitz because they can go to somewhere next to them because they're not in an airport. So it's nothing really I can see that I want to do up there. I know I got a boat or two out here. Um, yeah, let's, he's going to blitz that plane, but I'm still going to try it. I'm going to try and take that boat out. Let's go pick on the Americans for a little while. Wow, though. Yeah, it's, it's really a rough one. All right, so down here, oh, I've absolutely got to take that out. You go take that out. You help take that out. You help take that out. And then up here, I'm going to take these two guys, throw them on that boat. Down to here. Give you a little support from the water lines there. I hate doing this, but let's take you two down here. Let's have a single guy on there. Anyway, I don't need to go in too, but that's good. You look like you're good on the water. You can actually hit that too. And you can hit that. That's going to be a couple rough fights. See what happens here, though. All right, and there's a couple places you cannot move through, like uh, Suez Canal. You cannot move through this with a boat unless you control both spots. You cannot move through this until after you take Gibraltar. So all the navy you build in here, no good. Can't move through there unless it's a submarine. Um, and then down here, uh, you cannot move through this unless you control both sides of this. So if you control both sides of this, these guys can come down and just pop that, and then run back behind it. And you can't do nothing about it. You got to come up and take that with foot soldiers. It's pretty impressive. They took Brunei and Borneo, though. All right. So again, what can we do with our Italians at this point? That's about it. You're not going to be any benefit to move. You might be a final move. Let me think it through here. All right, and. You can come down and try and take a pop shot at that, but it's two dice against one. I don't know if I like those odds. And I'm saving this. I'm not going to read that paratrooper down because I need him for something else later. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yep, definitely going to try and attack that transport, and this is going to be important too because he's going to scramble that fighter. I'm going to take one shot. If I get it, I'm sinking. If not, or I'm submerging. Yes, I'm definitely going to shoot at the land. Let's try our naval battle first. One pop shot. I missed him, he killed me. Ah! It has not been a good start. All right, go down there, go. Got three of them. You got one of me. Got him. Yeah, so we took that one there, which we should not have had to take. Because usually that doesn't happen normally. Oh! Yo, I killed one, he killed two. Come on, I got one more foot soldier. Kill him! Got his plane. He killed two again. Son's a gun. Yeah, and I'm going to retreat. I'm 
Bummer trade did not take Western Egypt. Bummer. All right, so you're going to uh, Italy's non-combat move. You're going to land there, there, there. Let's go back up here to Europe and see what's going on. All right, definitely want you there. You can pick that anti-aircraft up. Move him over to. Let's move him over a little more. Down to there. I don't want to leave this exposed since he did kill my ship there and he's got a marine. Oh, he has no boats though. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. All right, then. Yeah, you go on up this way. Go on up that way too. You want to take an anti aircraft gun just for fodder. And you can go ahead and carry us a resource down here and drop that son of a gun. Put you over on the other airport there. You take that tank and move him all the way out here. Nice. I love trains, man. Yeah. yeah let's move them both that way. Down. I'll put you down there. Don't worry about these airplanes. They can sink a whole lots of navies. Um, so let's put you on there, and you on there. We got to dress maybe. Set you down there and maybe do something. Man, that's, that was a bad fight. Yeah, you guys need to go out that way too. Yeah, it wasn't such a good fight over that direction. Do I want to funnel move you? Yeah, let's go ahead and bring you out here to where you are. Nope, nope, let's leave you right where you're at, actually. Stay close to Gibraltar, it might be needed. And that is it. All right, so what are we gonna buy? We got a deck there we gotta finish putting out. We gotta build a factory down in Northern Africa. We need to build a uh, couple tanks to help out the main fight, and we'll still say $2 left over from later. So again, factory down here. A couple tanks to help out the main fight. And throw us another battleship in the mix because we already had a hull there. All right, so that's really w the first turn. Um, you know, we got a little bit going on here. Not a whole lot's going to happen. The United States is going, they're already moving into non combat moves. And then when they're done. But I, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed a quick insight into it. You know, I try to dive in as much as I can. Um, I will go ahead and make the other turns for this game to show you my own personal strategies. I am really right now bummed about the way that Northern Africa has turned out, man. Um, that just, you know, that, oh, it, it's moving. It, U.S. is going. They're moving stuff all over. But yeah, I am really bummed out about the way that uh, Northern Africa here, that this battle went. I should own this and occupy it, me thinking about taking that next turn. And I'm concerned because that's going to start manufacturing. Ka -chunk, ka -chunk, ka -chunk, ka -chunk. And he's still got a little bit of a navy out here. I don't see a lot of planes, so that's good. But uh, we'll see what happens. Um, again, I hope you liked the video. You know, if you liked it, uh, comment. That, uh, if you got better ideas on strategy than the way that I did it. Um, I'd love to hear them. Yeah, it's strategy. I know it's strategy. Um, uh, I'd love to hear your comments and the way that you've played this map and what your favorite maps are. Um, once I finish this game up, I'd love to go to another map. I'm a big Twilight Imperium fan. And, uh, that's one I've also got on the list. All right, who's going now? Ooh, looks like Turkey. Yeah, they don't do a whole lot. I did it one time. Isn't that the Fertile Crescent around there? Bottom of it kind of thing. Or is it Istanbul, Constantinople? Ah, Russia strikes back. We are starting on turn two. Russia has gone after me. They kicked a bunch, but I see a couple guys right next door. We're gonna see what happens on uh, the next video. Till then, I go to file and I 
save the game. And we will call it... Uh, YouTube One. Yeah, subscribe or something like that.